Shankar, uh, tell us about yourself and your job role. Yeah, hi, this is Ankur. So, uh, yeah, I have like around six years of experience in data science world. So, I have like ITBHU engineering, 2013 pass out, and uh, I've been doing like data science uh, mostly in the field of retail for now. I was working for Walmart last previously, and now it is work. Dunzo from Swast three months. It's one of the hottest startup in the Bangalore at this point of time, and also India for that matter. So mostly uh, the job job work is around to be able to build and deploy scalable machine learning solutions. And you know, like we are, let's say, a year older, wherein we have mature data to work over. So we're sort of trying to take that data, build some solutions which we can deploy and see how customers react to those data-driven solutions. And one of the most important challenges, yes, like we don't, the, the, the business of Dunzo is changing significantly. Like every second or third month there is a change which happens. So my role over here is to sort of build, to kind of build data science solution in such a manner that you can grasp those changes and all the future predictions which are happening and you're deploying should be able to capture the changes which is happening. So, uh, like, uh, we are trying to employ a lot of different techniques to sort of sort out some problems like offer personalization to be able to do personalized marketing, to bridge the gap between the demand and supply which is there existing, like for most of the markets it is existing at this point of time and we are employing some, like, uh, good techniques over that for that for that particular way. So, in terms of, like, the business opportunity, like, what opportunities do you see, you know, mm -hmm. that organizations can use, you know, data science, you know, what kind of opportunities can they create? Yeah, so... I think it's huge for, for like a business like Dunzo because you know like it's not only transactions which is happening is captured but it's a clear the activities which a customer does during you know uh, browsing the sessions is also being captured it's like trillions of data which you are capturing at a given point of time so I think you have umpteen number of opportunities to build solutions to do uh, something like you know uh, uh, build a complete customer journey to be able to make complete personalized solutions for the customer and yes in the road like if you think about how we are planning for the future is to be able to shift uh, to make an uber platform where everything gets integrated into uh, ai driven solution wherein that is taking all the decisions with respect to let's say replenishment pricing promotion and everything so uh, how can organizations you know close the skills gap when it comes to data science uh yeah so at this point of time yes i would say there is a huge dearth of if you say like the deep learning or the uh, application, like the U applic main application of machine learning and deep learning in this particular field. So, company like Dunzo is sort of looking at different organizations like bigger organizations, how they are solving the problems and trying to see what kind of problems they have solved is similar to, let's say, let's say Amazon for us or any any bigger company for that matter for for we. So we sort of see that if we can bring and employ such kind of solutions and see how it is working in future for uh, for a company like Dunzo. So what advice would you give uh, to someone who is starting out as a data scientist? Be very focused and try to be uh, like catch, try, try to catch up with the like exponential curve that data science is moving at this point of time because it's no longer uh, you know employing simple feature engineering in XGBoot now it is the world of you know applying writing beautiful uh, neural networks for that matter so I would say that read a lot of blogs uh, I mean I, I'm not a big fan of doing a course over data science but I'm a big fan of you know spending an hour every day on reading some blogs and trying to uh, create your own like something of your own like in a, in a month or so coming up with your own blog and sort of trying to uh, see some results and of course participate in competitions because competitive world is very different I myself came from that background like I have done more than 50 plus ML competitions in uh, in my career at this point of time so yeah what do you think of cypher you know uh, the importance of such an event you know in fostering these uh, technologies I think it's great because you know what happens like it's not only a technical thing which comes over here but it's a combination of strategy how business works and leaders talking here like I personally have come here before also and this time um, it, it's a different opportunity to be here but what I think is like you get to learn what is happening around the world what big companies are thinking about the thought process of the leaders and more importantly what solutions like where should as a data scientist where your mind should be to solve those problems because it's it, it cannot be a figment of your imagination that you want to solve this particular problem but you need to know what are the problems which is existing at a uber level in you know around the country and that is something which cypher is solving at this point of time